five, the last chapter, uh, seems like it's kind of endgame-y. We sort of, uh, two more of our co-workers died yesterday, Therese and, uh, actually I guess Tom died too, didn't he? Our boss died, the, uh, Therese died, and our best friend, uh, Trevor died. Uh, we uncovered more about our past history and how we may not even be a real human, and we may have been concocted out of slime and alien slime and some other weird things. I don't know. Uh, then we saw a vision of like, we went into this weird parallel world or something and uh, we encountered, I guess, what the who the real Curtis was, who has been mutated. I don't know, who, who's to know what to believe, but now we're like going in and out of different realities. So we're, we now like woke up at a restaurant where, uh, not Therese, Jocelyn, who is our girlfriend. Although, I don't know why she says we're cheating on her because it, he said we were non-exclusive. So I don't know why she's getting so pissed we were also banging Therese in the office. But anyway, she's holding us at gunpoint in the restaurant. Um, I remember we clicked on her and then, or we tried to like struggle to wrest the gun away from her. She shot us. And then we also did nothing, which caused, you know, after a few seconds, if you don't click on anything, he runs away, and then he gets shot, uh, we get shot in the back by her. So we have to try to do something here, which doesn't result in our getting killed. Past history? Did I say? I don't know what I said. Perhaps we are, okay, perhaps, perhaps we are all made from slime. Slime. It's possible. Okay, in any event, uh, let's start our timer here. And, uh, oh, I gotta shut off the music as well. Okay. Alright, so here we go. Uh, we gotta find something else to click on. I remember we don't have any inventory. So, uh, we have to find something else. Oh, go this way? That's probably just gonna be run away and she'll shoot him in the back. Yep, okay. Confirmed. Death number 11. And then she stands over us and shoots us again. Yep. But Jaren, we haven't had a trivia quiz in months. Hey, Decided more time on gameplay. You're better off this way. And you thought it couldn't get any worse. Yeah, exactly. Yep, that's a good uh, recap, this. What's going on? All right. So, can we... And if we click on her, then that just relates to the struggle. So, we don't have anything else to click on. Can't go left. I don't know what other options we have. Must... Oh, clicking on the gun instead of her. Didn't know those were two separate objects, but all right. Hot spots. So this causes the next vision or whatever. So there's a lot of like duct work going on here. Oh, is this like the fusing of the two worlds? Are we like back in our office but with the alien world? We offered a kiss. Oh yeah, that's right. We leaned in. We leaned in for a kiss. Pray for death. Be quiet. Bob. Oh no. Our ID card. Here's the red sledge. Tom. Let's just have fun clicking on people and getting deaths. Get away from me! Come a little closer, Red Boy. You've got something in your eye. 
Is it a scalpel? <laughs> I swear to God, it wasn't my fault. Um, it wasn't my fault. Practical effects are not that at all. Trev, please. Oh God, Trev, please don't hurt me. But Curtis, I only want a kiss. Uh, it was a sledgehammer to the head. That's up, Tom died. Ah! Ed? Say yes. goodbye, Curtis. Goodbye, Curtis. <laughs> hey, Macaw, Goody. Yeah, it is pretty. I find it much more entertaining than the uh, than the first Phantasmagoria. Yeah, the puzzles may not be great, but at least I'm having fun with it. All right, so instead of clicking on the guys, uh, click on this door. Okay. I don't have any inventory. Oh, so we're supposed to probably pick up our ID card. Oh, you took out Bob. Shit. Thanks for taking out uh, Bob, Tom. <laughs> uh oh. Okay now. Probably should save it. Oh. Your heart belongs to me, Curtis. It always has. <laughs> At least you didn't eat it. <laughs> Time to join mommy and daddy. Ah, uh, mommy and daddy. <laughs> All right, so uh, guess instead of clicking at her, we'll see what else we can do. Okay, so now we're mom. Let's get another save in here since we haven't in a while. Um, remember our mom was like torturing us as a kid and such. Okay. What do you have for us, mom? Those like hedge, hedge shears, garden shears.
Okay, now we'll go back to our imprisoned real self. Oh, it's right through. Oh, we can't. So, are we just leaving him? Oh, what's this? We just picked something else. Some more slime or something? Alien glop. Not slime, but glop. So, at first, I thought we he, he, we were like freeing our real self, but I wonder if we're actually like asphyxiating him. Because he seemed to like throw the hand, swat his hand away, almost as if to suggest like we're leaving him there to die. And now we've like ripped off his breathing apparatus or something. And now we're just gonna leave him for dead and like really take on his real, uh, I don't know, like his real identity in the real world or something. Just curious if you can do anything here. I know this is where we got the. The lap. Okay. So, are we supposed to lead to the exit, or do we? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's something else here. Hey, girl. We might have to like fuse more, like the glop, with another creature or something. Remember there was this weird beanstalk thing here that we never did? Oh, and okay, now there's something going on with it. Let's see if we can combine this stuff. There's the glob. This is another creature. Oh, yep. Okay. We combine two of the things we now have. What is this? Ooze. So we combine combine slop plus glop. Wait, slop plus wait no wait. It was glop plus slime equals ooze. <laughs> now I feel like this is, we've solved the secret of the ooze for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay, so we just repaired that beanstalk thing. Okay. Interesting. Yes, yeah, so we repaired the hole and whatever that is. So can we combine these last two things that we have? No, we can't. So we might need to collect more stuff. Stuffs. Yeah, just about screen. Oh, okay. No, these were always here. This is where we got the slime originally. Ah, one of them got knocked out here. We have to, like, replace it somehow. Probably. So I think we need like more materials to like fix the portal and go back somehow. Yeah, apparently th th they wanted to make a third Phantasmagoria, but this one did not sell well at all. And it also was not critically well received. <laughs> but maybe they ditched it. I mean, the genre as a whole was kind of dying out at this point, unfortunately. Late 90s. All right, so we can't do anything here yet. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it. That yeah, is where we got the slime. Oops. Okay. We probably need to collect some more stuff. Yeah, well now the genre is definitely back this year. Or not this year. The genre has come back in the last like 10 plus years, I would say. Um, the late 90s, early 2000s. Was not doing this hot. All right, um, let's go back here. The other cave. Alright, 
Looks like I said just where we harvested the whatever thing. Can't do anything else here. Is there any other views here that did not appear to be? I like how we're out for like a stroll in the woods. It's like, I'm here. Yeah. I know we heart we got something here earlier. I just want to see since it's long screen. Whether it's anything. Or is this going to the... F oh, this might go into the first cave. Remember there were those two things, those two little creatures that got... Okay, we've already been up that portal. I doubt we need to go back there again, but... Never know. So instead of doing that, though, let's... Yeah, these guys I was interested in. Giving them like food or something. Okay. Oh, so, so now we were able to attract it. Well, now we have an electric alien in addition to another alien creature. Okay. So this electric alien will probably replace that light fixture we have. Yeah, I guess he's already seen some shit material. Yeah, it's true. Okay, we replaced that. So I think all we have left is this creature here. No, yeah, we don't need to combine it. So I think the only thing we haven't done is But we probably need to combine the thing we do have with something else. Oh, no. Okay, this powered this. Nice. Okay. Oh, boy. Now we got another puzzle here, huh? Okay, our inventory's gone. All right, so... Let's do an alien puzzle save. All right, so... Uh, are these supposed to be, like, wire-type deals? We can click on that thing, this thing, that thing. There's like four different things we can click on. All right, let's start with this. Oh, okay, so we're orienting this. So purple, probably like red and blue equal purple. Something like that. Oh boy. It's probably like, oh, okay, whoa. Uh, did we do something good? This is flowing out. <laughs> So we probably have to like complete a circuit somehow. Okay, so this goes left and right. Um So this thing shoots. Question is which direction do we want it to go in? It does hit that, this thing lit up. Yeah, maybe have it go that way. Okay, it's not flowing back out. Uh, what happens if we change the air of this? Okay, this thing's going now. So we have three of these things that are sort of activated. Probably we need some stuff down here too, before we do that. Four things. This thing is spinning. Uh, this thing probably needs to be aligned somewhat differently. Yellow. 
No. So these colors, ah, colors, colors seem to correspond to these colors. Oh, we can actually. Oh, I didn't. I didn't realize we could do stuff with those. Probably need this blue looking thing to change as well. Um, I still don't know how these things change. I mean, it seems good that this stuff is spinning, but... Did they shoot it off? Wait, do it again. So it shoots there. Starts red and goes to yellow. We shoot this. Red to yellow to blue. Change that. Red, yellow, blue. So that doesn't seem to matter. Ready, yellow, blue. Okay. Uh, how about fire that way? Ready, yellow, blue again. Interesting. Actually, see if we go up. Maybe we actually did something pretty. Yeah. So we probably need this portal to spring back into life. Oh. Oh. That just goes back there. We still have. We still do have this thing. Okay. But we don't need to use it here. <laughs> Brain surgery. I okay, just want to make sure we don't need to use. Probably need to use this creature somewhere. Not yet, I guess. Alright, so... Whoop, what's going on? Uh, did the game freeze? Why do I have this weird... Oh. Yeah, the... Hold on. I'm gonna switch out of this because the cursor seems to be messed up. Wait. Let's just restore. That was weird. I don't think it should be that cursor. Yeah, so it should be this. Okay. So right now nothing's lit up. I'm guessing the object is to get everything lit up. Uh, can't do anything over there. So, oh. Okay, so that should maybe fire that way. Can go into three directions. Starts off as yellow. Now this thing is flowing. How about that way? Oh, it switched it. The point down. Yeah, and then if it is down, ready, yellow, blue. All right, so I have it go that way. Interesting. Um, shoot it this way. Okay, now that thing's firing. This thing is spinning. So we probably just have a have to have a combination of them all somehow. Still don't know what. It's This is gone. Wait, one more time. Ready, I'll put it this thing is on. Oh, now we can click this. Okay, so I went from red to that thing and went there. Maybe we also need blue. Ooh. 
we need yellow in the mix as well. need to connect these somehow. This can't change its angle. I wonder if this needs to be lit the whole time. Sets. That sucks. Oh, now we got the cursor again. All right, well, maybe the cursor doesn't matter. Although it does tell you if you can operate something or not, so it is actually useful. How did we get this one going? Oh yeah, let's just restore again. All right, so once we get in here, we shouldn't leave the uh, we shouldn't leave the view because uh, then the whole thing resets apparently. All right, so blue seemed to do the best job here. Um, get that going. Okay, so this spins. I guess you probably need red and purple. Earth machine. Thanks very much. 14 months from Earth Machine. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Earth. All right. So we got that pulsating. Um, and we need to get some stuff in there. What else do we need to like be lit? Probably this guy here. Yellow blue again. 
need to maintain this always flowing oh the wires are clickable oh my gosh okay i didn't realize that they were thank you River. yeah i would not have solved this otherwise because i didn't know that was a thing the orange to orange no i can't uh i guess this is These are actually red and orange, actually, it's like different colors. Can we shoot something in there? Now I'm gonna be like clicking on everything to find out. Can these wires be changed? Oh, look at this. Okay, I actually have them wired incorrectly. So maybe this is the map, so red should actually be the blue, perhaps. Yeah, this is probably the map that tells you. Okay, so... Uh, red to blue. Purple to green. Blue to red. And then green to purple. On this one, we have purple to red, green to red. Wait, what? Oh yeah, I messed this up. Yeah. Wait, no, green to purple. Sorry. And then orange. Wait, no, I messed this up. Okay, green is going to red. Purple is going to green. And then orange. Is going to Hey, welcome, uh, Chris and Keith. All right, so now, uh, oh, we got the bad cursor again. Why? Are we doing something again? Alright, so since this thing lit up... Maybe we don't have this wire correctly after all. Let me just double check. Purple to green, orange to blue, green to purple, blue to red, orange to purple, green to red, we have it set up the right way, wired up here. It's supposed to be the same. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'm supposed to do red, yellow, blue the way that they have it. Let's do red first. Portal. 
has been restored, although we're taking that alien creature with us back there. So I do wonder, I do worry about that. So here's Jocelyn who's discovered the threshold. I know what love you is. Are. <laughs> I love you. Please stay with me. She pulls a gun out from her <laughs> under her shirt. Hey, McVick. Okay, so we can click on her, we can click on the thing. Oh, that's like to return. Oh, uh, they took away the alien creature from us. So I guess this is a choice between whether you return or whether you're with her. So I'm guessing that's maybe the good ending. Let's try the bad ending. We'll return in the threshold, see what happens. Oh, there's Paul Warner. I'll do what's right. Throw him in there. I promise. 24 hours later. So he just stands there? I guess he went in. They don't show you what happens, though. Wow. Okay. Well, we got end credits, so I guess that's, uh, yes, that is a, a GG. After 10 hours and 10 minutes, Phantasmagoria Puzzle of Flesh has been solved. Our flesh was made of slime. And I guess we weren't exactly human. Or maybe we were. We went back into the slime world. And Paul Warner was still hurt. Yeah, very kind of ambiguous ending. We'll see the other one, what it would have happened if we had clicked on her in a moment. Yeah, we're definitely going to try the other one. Yeah, I don't know why it had to be 24 hours later, Hakai. But even Jocelyn changed clothes. Maybe they wanted one last day together. I don't know. Which is also weird because he didn't. Uh, Curtis didn't seem to be at all like, that into her. And remember, she's not a porn star. She was the one that wanted to be with us. You were probably thinking of Therese. <clears throat> Therese, who was the SNM uh, enthusiast, but also not a porn star. All right. Let's see if we can try the other. ending so paul's head got <laughs> hooked up to the machine somehow somehow oh you mean the actress got it got it really that actress jocelyn they didn't use the Teresa one all right let's do um the other ending
Can you believe a big time exec like Paul Warner killed all those people? Yeah, sure I do. Suits are evil, you know. Where do you suppose he is now? Eh. Panama, munching liver and fava beans. <sighs> You're gonna love the bikini I got. It is so tiny. I swear, it's this big. <laughs> oh, and I picked up some really strong sunblock because I know how you burn. Oh, it's gonna be wonderful. Blue Mediterranean seas, sunwashed beaches. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're not gonna regret this, Curtis. I promise. Enjoy your vacation. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, yeah, I, definitely the, the puzzle solving in the game is lackluster, but it definitely is entertaining. Uh, probably more so now than it would have been at the time, because uh, at least we can relish in the 90s cheese. Um, but yeah, it was legitimately amusing. I found it more entertaining than the, than the first Phantasmagoria, uh, honestly. And uh, I thought the end sort of uh, chapter was also better, like... The chase sequence of the first one with all those times, like that was a real pain in the ass to have to play and get through. Because you had to make like, I don't know, a series of two, two or three dozen choices all in like very quick succession. So I'm glad they did a better job with the ending here. But yeah, entertaining game. Don't know if there's a ton of replay value to it, but. I enjoyed it. Thank you, uh, Gamer Girl, for the pick. Yeah, I don't mind slow pace, though. Um, I think there was enough going on. Maybe there were two or three times where we had to kind of wander around to try to make progress, but on the whole, that, was, that wasn't too bad. I didn't find it to be a, a problem. So all that said, uh, let's give out bonus Edrix for the end of Phantasmagoria Puzzle Flesh, and we'll head to our Hall of Adventure and game number 148 upon the shelf.